Please welcome John Boyega. <laughs> Over Noah show finally, Mr. John what? Boyega. What's good, How man? You doing, good sir? to see you, man. I'm doing Look at well. You looking great, man. Thank you, man. I decided to go Angel Gabriel today. You know what I mean? I love mean? it. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. And you're pulling it off. Um, let's jump straight into it. The movie. Congratulations. Y you yeah, know, thank you. I know you're capable of doing everything. You know, I've, I've seen you uh, do comedy. I've, I've seen you in, in in action. I've seen you in drama. This film feels like a slight twist on what we've seen you do before. Yeah. It's really intense, yeah. and it's a really powerful story that I think comments on what's going on in America today. Yeah. Talk, talk me through it. Like, how did you get into this project, and what made you go, yeah, you know what, this is the next movie for me? I read an amazing script um, that, to me, just kind of jumped off the page. The character of Brian is so complicated, complicated mm -hmm. his situation and his circumstance, going to the bank, trying to demand his money back from the veterans' affairs was, was something that was just interesting. Yeah. Um, and it's just a combination of who you're working with. Nicole Bahari, Salinas, Michael K. Williams, Wow. You know, this right. is a cast that made me definitely get out of bed. Yeah, no, yeah. You, know, you know what I love about a story like this is, you know, is that, one, it's based in the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the first thing. And secondly, you can see the humanity in the storytelling. Yeah. You, you have this man who goes, I've served this country, mm -hmm. I fought for this country, the story many veterans have in the U.S., yeah. and then they come home and then their country no just support. deserts them. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it was actually shocking to even hear about the story and, and shocking that I hadn't heard about it, you know, in a sense that it happened in 2017. And this is just literally a few years ago. And it's right. something that none of us, it kind of happened under our nose. But to hear the detail about what vets are going through when mm -hmm. they come home, that integration back into public life is, is kind of complicated. For me as an actor, you know, I'm just play a small part in a jigsaw puzzle in exposing such a story and a pr perspective. I think what you also do really well is you, you, you humanize the character. Yeah. You know, so, so it's not just a veteran. It's not, it is not just a situation. Yeah, yeah. This is about a human being yeah, who, yeah. Who, who is in this situation. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you talked, for instance, to the real version of the characters, like, yeah. like his, his, his ex-wife, and yeah, you talked about the journey. Yeah. What yeah. did you learn about the human being that you were going to be portraying on the screen? Oh, she, she told us uh, so many gems, um, and it's specifics. As an actor, I want to hear how this man spoke. I right, want to hear about right, his right. interests. He was very much into movies, nerd stuff that I'm into. Um, his voice, quite timid most of the time. So in, in scenes, like, Abby would remind me, our director would remind me, remember what Brian's wife said. He oh, has wow. a quite timid voice. Wow. His walk, you know, we have CCTV footage, documentation yeah. uh, about the case. And that all just helps to inform, you know, the performance. And that's what, you know, I used to go through as Brian. You, you, you did a great job in doing oh, it. And as you, you say, man. like, the team that's working with you, I mean, everyone yeah. deserves to be lauded. But, yeah. you know, obviously, you know, Michael K. Williams, you have a legend who we lost. Yeah. You know, this is... I think it'll be the last film that we get to see him in. I think in. so. Yeah. He, might, he might have one after, I'm not sure, but this is, this is one of the last, at, at the very least. And yeah. the, the story getting to it was amazing, because yeah. if, I, if I understand correctly, you basically had to beg them. You had to, like, I beg, chase him. I, uh, Trevor, I begged him. <laughs> <laughs> I have to beg. You know, they, they show me respect when I come on these shows and say, yeah, you, you requested for him to be in the movie? No. <laughs> no, it was, you know, I, I had to beg him. Such, such a, a, a versatile actor. Yeah, man. Um, and yeah. an actor that doesn't need to come and shoot my small little indie movie for $2.50. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So it was, it, was, it was me just asking him to collaborate, to come in and, and, and do a few weeks' work. And he just showed up on set. He was, he was down to do it. And for me, I grew up watching The Wire. I grew up watching Boardwalk Empire. So to see, you know, Michael K. Williams walk on set to be motivated and ready to shoot, I was just like, yeah, this is, this is a, a dream that's come to Did he know what a fan you were of his? You oh, know? Yeah. Like, oh. you, you've got, like, a DVD box set of The Wire. Yeah, Trevor, you... Trevor, come on, man, Trevor, man. You know, even when I reached out to you on text, man, I let you guys know, man. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'm, one, I'm one of those people that... I, I have so many people, especially black individuals for me, who are inspiring to look up to. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let you know while you're still here that, yo, like, <laughs> I love you're that. inspirational. And I, had to I, tell, I had to tell him straight up, you show, show him that love. And I'm, gl I'm glad I got those moments with him, you know? That's beautiful, yeah, man. That man. really is beautiful. I like yeah. that. I, I've always said, like, anyone who is Nigerian has the ability to inspire the best in you as a human being. I yeah. feel like that's what you bring out. Absolutely. You, you've just got that thing. I see go... criminals. I be you have motivation. <laughs> <laughs> Good motivation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm, speaking of, by the way, speaking of, yo, like, w w we're so excited. I, as soon as I saw you in a movie with Viola Davis yo. and then Tuso Mbedo from South Africa, I was just like, w when, when is the movie as coming out? As soon as I saw me in a movie with Viola <laughs> Davis. Ah, yes! And so, yeah, that movie comes out September 6th, The Woman King. Yes. Uh, it's with Viola Davis. Man, I it mean, looks badass. 
Yeah, it, it looks, looks badass. It, look, it looks crazy. I was actually at the AMC at the Grove the other day, uh -huh. and the, both trailers came up. Breaking trailer came up before yes. Brad Pitt's Bullet oh, Train, man. and 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 also uh, the Woman King. And the Woman King trailer got a round of applause from from the audience. I was tempted to say I was in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but I left that there for the audience just to enjoy this story that I think is just going to be so so epic for everybody to enjoy. You know what enjoy. I love for you doing the story as well is, you, you, you know, you know, I fell in love with you like m most people did with Attack the Block. You know, I was just like, this Thank is one you, of the, the, the most amazing movies. I heard there's a sequel yeah. and I hope it's true. Yeah, yeah. But I've always loved how you can seamlessly move between accents, how you embody a character, how you yeah. change who you are. Mm. But this, if I'm, if I'm correct, is the first film where you get to be like your family, you get, you know what yes. I mean? You get to embody like yeah. your, your, your mother tongue. You get to, you know? Yeah, I use my dad's voice for the, for yeah. the king role. And it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I even wanted to grow a bit of a belly so it could just, <laughs> you know, to emphasize that. But it was, it, it, it was, it was such a papa role as, a, as an African man playing yes. a king, but also playing a king who, who, who loves his people, who loves his women and, right, and, and right, supports right. them. And protected by and these protected women. Protected by yeah. these women um, was for me great. I mean, normally we get into movies and, you know, male lead wanted to be the number one movie star, right, do right, all right. the action. That's overrated. I liked the women doing everything. <laughs> yes. was, oh. I said, go girl, go get it. Go get it. Um, so that, that was fun. I can't, I can't wait for you guys to see that movie. Can't it's wait. amazing. Yeah. Before I let you go, I would love to talk about the break that you took. You know, John Boyega, like, you, you launched onto the scene. You mm. came on Everyone Was Loving You as an actor, as, mm. a, as, a, as a, I mean, as a guest on shows. You, you just have this magnetism. And then I distinctly remember you saying, I'm gonna take a moment. Yeah. How did you maintain the courage to say, no, John first, mm -hmm. and then I'll get back into my career? I just got to a point where I was like, life needs a, a sense of balance. Um, and sometimes you, you go towards something and you achieve it, but uh, there's no fulfillment um, because you've forgotten about the most important, which is the most important thing, which is the self. And, and in thinking about that, I was just like, yeah, I need to sort me out first. So right. that when I get to a certain stage and when bigger opportunities come, that I'm genuinely ready for it and not intimidated by it. And I, honestly, I twiddled my toes in my little furry socks. <laughs> I went on holiday, had some good times, and then I, I relaxed and, and got, got my stuff sorted, got in the gym, got reading, got into a routine. And, and, I, and I think a lot of us need to do that, right? Just to get back into a healthy- Yeah, man, get healthy... into who we are. Yeah, man, yeah. My dude, yeah. that's why you're gonna nah, be one of the man, greats. That's why you're great right now. That's love why you're getting it. Good to see you again, man. <laughs> John Boyega, ladies love and gentlemen, bro. make sure you watch both movies.